Hey collective, so we're gonna do a quick energy check. It is currently like 4.30 in the morning here. I've been up since 3.16, I can't sleep. So I came into my living room, put on the singing bowls, and my camera got like this. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but it looks pixelated or something. Um. So I just started shuffling my deck. So the first card that came out is Six of Fire. That talks about success, recognition, confidence, self-esteem. Um, you see a person here. They're sitting here. They're feeling really victorious. Holding, you know, the last wand. Um... You see how weird my camera's acting? I've been just sitting here in the singing bowls, the Tibetan singing bowls. My energy is like, ooh. <laughs> I'm some coffee. You guys know I love stretching. <laughs> so then I'm like, what's this six of wands? Some kind of awakening. Um, that's like the hangman um, energy right there. So you could be dealing with a Leo, Pisces, and then the last one is Aries, the Emperor. <sighs> there could have been a pause. So that somebody could see something from a higher perspective. Get organized, structured. Um, recognize some, some something and be more confident, potentially in like some kind of leadership, um, so that they could gain success. I don't know what that is. My camera keeps doing this. It's only in my living room. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, God, I love you so much. There could have been a pause in some kind of something here. Every time my Tibetan singing bowls do a different sound, the camera gets wonky. Let's see what this is. I hope you guys don't mind that. The way the camera looks pixelated. I'm sorry. The six of wands, six of fire. The six of wands. With the moon. Something that was, this could be your subconscious, something that's a secret. Somebody could have possibly had to gain some kind of recognition in secret, build up their confidence in secret.
the hermit. After some kind of betrayal. There was something that was hidden here that somebody couldn't see that could have could have possibly um, the six of ones always talks about victim and success. Maybe after some kind of betrayal, some kind of self esteem um, needed to be rebuilt here. Hold on. Whatever this was, it was moon awakening. It was, this was done in, in like hermit mode. Isolation. Hidden. Clarify the awakening card. This is like taking the time to see things differently. A pause, a break, right? Stagnant energy. The six of discs, six of pentacles, giving in equally, empress. Six, six, six. There could have been some kind of hidden betrayal. Some deep down, deep. Let me get the words out. This was something that was hidden, like internally. Some kind of betrayal. Hi, guy. Some kind of betrayal. Ten of ten of swords. This is the ultimate betrayal. There was some like hidden agenda here. Somebody wanted some kind of success. <laughs> Clarify the Empress. Queen of Swords. It landed on the Ten of Swords. So maybe some of you guys are dealing with like a Queen of Swords person who tried to betray you. This could also represent having to cut through some bullshit to see something, see something from a different perspective while you were in Hangman. Okay. Recognize and realizing something. Somebody realized something.
prayer for this and for Holy Spirit. The Ten of Cups. I keep getting this energy. Ten, ten could be significant. The Emperor. They're very controlling. Um, they like to be organized, structured. They're a uh, they're leader of a potentially a community, a family. Um, Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Somebody wants a new beginning after seeing something here with you. They could have possibly had the opportunity between two, an Empress and a Queen of Swords. Somebody got betrayed here. Yeah, there was, this was a third party. It landed on the Queen of Swords. Three of Pentacles. It, it went like this. This was hidden. It's giving me a storyline here. The Moon, the Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, Three of Pentacles. The Six of Wands could also mean past energy. Um, Coming out of this dark space and taking action, passion, a whole new world I'm hearing. Clarify this Eight of Swords. What is this Eight of Swords, Holy Spirit? Queen of Wands. You could be a queen of wands. Maybe somebody try to like secretly make you feel low about yourself. For the six of wands to come out twice, clarifying each other, that's self-esteem. That's confidence. Maybe somebody was secretly doing this to you, like trying to make you fuck with your confidence. Maybe you have wounds hidden that trigger your self-esteem. Because this emperor sees you as the Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. But you could be seeing yourself. You don't see yourself that way. And Spirit's telling you, take a break. Do some healing. Get your mind right. What does this say? Oh, fuck. I can't see. Courage and bravery, more wands energy. Compassion.
Take charge and action. Fiery energy all through this. Spirit needs you to come out your head. Somebody needs to come out their head here. You could be in your head with this moon and Queen of Swords energy. Spirit is saying in order for you to see success, you need to come up out of this energy. Because we could self-sabotage shit, Collective. If we don't deal with the, the hurts, the wounds, the traumas, and we take that into a new thing, we, we, we could get easily triggered. Um, past experiences come up, scenarios, and you start thinking like this motherfucker's doing something. Right? And then we get in our fucking head. Don't let your mind mind fuck you. But I want you to see something differently. See yourself differently. Mm-hmm. You could be so obsessed in your head right now with this devil energy. Six of Cups from the past. From the past. This is mental. This is somebody's mental. You, you need to free yourself from that. I know there are times when I'm sitting here and I'm like, I get I get triggered when, it, when it's me and Gabi. And I have to walk myself through the process. Like, no. There are things, you know... He does that sometimes triggers me and I start, this This relates to me. I resonate with this a little bit here. I start creating fucking scenarios and then I have to like pause and be like, wait a minute, what the fuck am I doing? How did that create this whole picture line, this story? And I have to sit there and think. What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> and then I go to my Bible and I start calming my spirit, my mind down. Cause if we don't if we don't find good coping mechanisms, yeah, heal. Heal for um four swords. If we don't find good coping mechanisms to heal through certain things, um Oh, I didn't even realize that he hung up my picture. 
<laughs> I just looked at it now. He said he hung up a picture, but I didn't, wasn't paying attention. Um, if we don't find good coping mechanisms to heal, okay, because the healing process never ends. We are going to be forever healing and forever evolving. Oh. Um, if we don't find good coping mechanisms to heal, balance the masculine and feminine duality, the yin, the yang within self. What are we doing this for? You got to find what works for you. For somebody here, also, um, Ten, 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 six, 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 six. Man, there are times that I sit there because I, I, you know, I know I gained weight. And what the, my schedule at work, like I, I signed up for the gym, but I can't go. I try to go. I'd be so tired. Um, so he created um, a little area for me in the backyard. And he put like all my exercise equipment there. He did that for me over the weekend, so I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to try to make it a point where even if it's a half an hour a day, I'm going to go out there. Um, yeah, because I'm getting, I'm not getting younger, I'm getting older. And I, I know I gained weight. I've gained weight. Maybe, you know, um, he doesn't make me feel like, like, um, like that though. It's just me. Could you, I'm seeing somebody, okay, so I'm sitting here thinking to myself and I'm like, if we were to, um, if we were to, if Spivet were to like make us go through this healing process, right, all at once, I'm seeing people going like this, like, <laughs> <laughs> it would be like overload for our body our mind so spirit gives us the healing process in increments right 
Um, and once you've tackled and beat that healing thing, then you move on to the next thing. We can't heal everything at once. That's impossible. We'll be on overload, restarting, resetting. It's it's catastrophe. And this person views you as their empress. And you're there's some something here that I feel like Spirit needs you to see that. You're not seeing. I'm also getting like it's hard for you to put your sword down. Let this person take charge. And I get that. Especially if you're a divine feminine that has been the masculine in every relationship where you've had to be the breadwinner, the one who's responsible to making sure all the bills are being paid, things are in order in the house, because you've dealt with people who were not like that. Something has to change here. The dynamics have to change, the what is saying. I get it. I don't know how long that's gonna take me to do, but um, nobody has stepped up to show me that they're capable of doing that yet. Um, and until then, I'm, I'll be in charge of the finances. Um, yeah. It's not, and, and another, uh, why am I getting this story, Spirit? Why are we talking about this? Empress, Fool, Wheel of Fortune. Um, yeah. I'm very excited because things are moving forward here. There's a change here that's happening. And somebody's going to have to take a leap of faith. And get out of this energy. Wounded warrior. What energy do they need to go on to stop it? Judgment. Transform. Transform into what Holy Spirit. I'm getting transformed this sacred love. Sacred connection. Let's clarify this a little bit. What is the Seven of Wands? Clarify the Seven of Wands.
the Knight of Cups. It's like not giving in. Page of Cups. Somebody's like pushing somebody away because of their wounds. That's what I'm getting. What is this judgment? There's something about this love that's hidden. Judgment. Seven of Swords. Deceit. Seven, seven. So I'm kind of lying. For somebody here, you're sensing that somebody's lying to you. What is this, Holy Spirit? What is this? Some kind of... This motherfucker put you in the Three of Swords. Some kind of sneaky, deceptive behavior. What's hidden? A decision, a choice. I'm hearing hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Somebody could be making a decision to hold back, save in secret. Where, where, what are they saving in secret for, Spirit? Are they going to take a new direction? They're building up their pentacles. This person could be secretly trying to like save to leave. What's this Ace of Cups, Holy Spirit? They're manifesting this. They could be manifesting a new love. Pisces energy here. This is the truth.
What is this page of cups in the reverse? Slow energy. This person's taking their time. This person could be holding back information because the page to the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Maybe there's like lack of communication. There's no communication. What is this Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night, but when it gets to where it's going, it plans on staying there. And I feel like this person... Who are they portraying? Who are they lying to? Holy Spirit. Who are they portraying? Who are they lying to? Seven of Swords and Three of Swords with the Judgment. Okay. The Three of Pentacles. In the reverse. Part partners. Collaborations. Working together. Eight of Cups in the reverse. They're not planning on leaving whoever this Three of Pentacles is. The third party, whoever they're deceiving, lying, sneaking, cheating, fleeking. This person doesn't plan on walking away from that. It could be a person, a place, a thing. Clarify this fool. You may be the one that has to get in this full energy. Yeah, you may be the one that has to get in this full energy and turn your back. On this lover. Clarify the wheel of fortune. Take a new direction. I don't know. Maybe this person broke your self-esteem so bad that you just, you don't know. Yeah, king of cups. This is a manipulator. This is a gas lighter. This is somebody who plays with emotions. A waste of time. Mm-hmm. It's a waste of time you're working on this. A waste of time working on whatever this is. You're going to have to be strong and take a new direction. This person probably likes fucking with your self-esteem. Oh, this person does things, says things to you. To distract you for periods of time. So keep you in your head. Maybe this person likes to make you get stuck in your head for short periods of time. So you get into an argument, they say something. And then you're not talking with this person for two to three weeks. And then they come and love bombing you. That's a bitch. 
But what goes around comes around. That's what people say. Everything you do in the, in the dark comes to light. And what you do to others comes back to you. So, mm -hmm. sitting here just hurting people. Fuck is wrong with these people? This is what I got. Love and light.